Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is the Gundam Battle Operation 2 update for the week of August the 12th, and uh, we are still on the third anniversary event. Uh, this week's uh, mobile suit is Gune's Yagd Doga. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start getting those. They're basically the last things from Shars Counterattack that aren't in the game, so I'm not surprised. Uh, we've got a, a set of four half-off ten spins, and I think I'm going to go for that, so... Uh, Especially since the last two steps have an increased chance of two stars, which is kind of my weakness here. Um, let's see, still the various other events. Um, triple uh, the standard great success rate and triple enhanced values for duplicate mobile suits right now. Um, also, they, uh, this week they sent a bunch of uh, enhancement packs to the, uh, uh, to the uh, mailbox... Uh, I hit the 600 days, so I got a bunch more gold containers. And I also got four-star, uh, or, you know, gold containers of uh, engineering kits. I also got a bunch of four-star engineering kits uh, and the like. So uh, that is good. If I want if I want to take the limit off the new Gundam, I can probably do it, especially since they also threw in 500,000 DP, which I would kind of need because that's expensive for four-stars. But, okay, before we do a bunch of spins... Uh, new to the DP store this week, we've got the level four free custom, the level one blue destiny unit, uh, level four blue destiny unit one. That's a slight difference, and the uh, Galbaldi beta. So, if you don't have that, uh, that is an excellent mobile suit at 450 and 500. It is worth having. It is still one of the most dangerous things at that cost. So, uh, definitely worth a thought. Um, let's see. Yeah, and various weapons for same. I do have the level 2 Galbaldi rifle on this account. Good. No new custom parts. Over to the recycle ticket counter, we have got the level 3 Zeong, the level 1 Hamahama, and the level 3 Bishop. So, uh, the, the theme of the day is Psychomu, also the level 2 Hamahama. I think I'll pick up the level 1. And, yeah, like, almost all Psychomu units up right now. Uh, Z level 3 Zeong, the Bishop, uh, the Saikamu Zaku, and of course non Saikamu things too, of course, because I've I have hit platinum because I, uh, like I said, I'm gonna do that for uh, uh, that four part uh, half price spin. But let's see, um, no new markings, no new patterns. Uh, looks like no new custom parts. So all right, let us get on the road. First, the free spin, and let's see what we get out of that. And. Let's see, we get, uh, first up is, we'll wait and see what kind of ship it is before I click through. It is a Fat Uncle bearing, a uh, repeat of the level 3 Gym Knight Seeker 2, but uh, that got a lot of enhancement value for it, of course, because of the bonus. Uh, this time, uh, a Medea bearing a level 3 Zaku, which I, I had not maxed out yet, interestingly. Medea with a Goga Marine Beam Saber. I wonder if they'll put enhancements like that on weapons, too. Um, level 3 Gatling Shield, which I didn't have. That's good. Uh, missile Launcher. Uh, machine Gun. Rick DS2 Beam Saber. Uh, Pixie Submachine Guns. Uh, Gym Knight Seeker V level 3, which I had, so that's close to the, its maximum enhancement value. And a level two Zoc, which is more, which is now maxed out, because it's it gets more points for it uh, than it actually has capacity for if you don't limit break it. Wow. There it is. And so yeah, my only non-repeat on the free spin is a Gatling shield. So uh, let's brace for similar disappointment four times in a row, but we're gonna go for it because yeah, half price spins, you know. Ah, that's that's just economical. If you're going to spend tokens and you didn't care about the new Insazabi, now is probably the time. So, okay. So first up, we have got a fat uncle bearing uh, the level one Giradoga, which I didn't have. Very nice. And a gal with the level three Hamahama. So that's all of those now. And a fat uncle with the Methus Kai. All right. Um, so far, uh, so far, this, uh, this, uh, has been entirely justified. Uh, repeat guns, level 2 heat darts for Nefreet Schneid I do not yet have. Gun tank 2 level 3, that's maxed out now. Uh, Mark 2 beam saber level 4, which I had, I do not have the level 4 Mark 2 as of yet, I don't think. 
Brick Dom 2 Giant Bazooka. Level 4 Folding Bazooka. I think I have the GP03 for that on my other account. Okay, I can't complain about that. Two uh, new levels of things and one totally new thing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. That works. I'm going to be interested to see how the Methus Kai goes. Okay, next step. And what do we got? We've got... I hope we get the uh, Yagdoga out of this, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Zekuline's Beam Saber level 2. Another Medea. Agai Vulcan's Fat Uncle with level 3 Gog, which I didn't have. Another Medea. Rail Cannon. Mark II Beam Saber. Another Gal with Desert Gogog Beam Rifle. That's kind of a letdown. Medea. Level 4 Clarm. Rick DS2 Beam Saber. Ah, level 2 Heat Lance. Torpedo. Okay, yeah, so one thing on that roll. That's about what I was expecting, but it's a 400 point GOG, so should be able to rip and tear with that pretty well. Uh, melee Strength 24, and enough slots to probably get it significantly higher. And, uh, this is where the extra 2 star uh, boost starts coming in, so we'll. We'll try for that. We'll see what we get. And let's see. Um, a uh, twin beam spear please. four. Yes, uh, Gaza go. Deem, uh, knuckle buster level two. I forget if I have the level two Gaza or not. And level three Mudrock is a repeat. But wow, that's that's just its entire enhancement gauge right there. Um, Mark two beam saber. Another fat uncle with. Zekuine's Machine Gun. Uh, DJ Beam Sword Level 3. Uh, uh, Gigan Gun Level 5. Balanoke Beam Gun Level 4. Virulent Beam Saber Level 2. Zekuine's Type 3 Level 2, which... That's a hefty chunk of its enhancement gauge. And that's it. A new Knuckle Buster, and that's it for that one. Okay, for the final spin... And then we'll spend the leftover tokens on a single spin for the Yogdoga, assuming we don't get it here, which, you know, odds are against, but we'll see. I think it's a three-star, which, you know, I can live with that. But let's see what we get. All right, first up, the first spin is a Medea bearing level uh, three twin lancer. Fat Uncle with the underwater deflection beam rifle for the uh, Marine Gundam. That's fine. Uh, level 5 Pixie, sure. Yes, Fat going. Uncle with go, go, go. level 3 Knuckle Daggers for the Striker Custom. Okay. A Gal with go, go, go. repeat Rick Diaz 2, but that's a lot of enhancement points for it. Yes, Fat going. Uncle with go, go, go. level 3 Bishop. Yes, Gal with go, go, go. level 2 uh, Kapool Missile repeats. Go, go, go. Gal with so level going. 1 Hombrabee repeat, which, yeah, totally maxed out there. And go, Gelgud go, Marine go, Beam Saber, and go, go, go. Rocket Bazooka. Yeah, so, decent pile of things I didn't have the at these levels before. Level 5 Pixie is 600, and it looks like you should be able to get its melee strength really high. I'm kind of curious about that. Uh, wish I could look at the enhancement list from this screen, but uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to look at that. Should be interesting, but yeah, so that is the extent of this. Let's do my... Let's do my one supply drop and see if I can get this three-star Yogg's Doga. Unlikely, but, you know, stranger things have, of course, happened. So, and let's see. And we have got... Bang. Nope, Zekuline's Beam Saber. So, well, gave, uh, gave it my best shot. Spent money pro possibly foolishly, but I did at least get the Methus Kai to give, it, uh, give a try. So, looking forward to that. Abrupt cut-in! I almost forgot about the uh, Full Armor Slave Wraith missions. Uh, we've got uh, six limited missions, and they are win a battle 15 times, defeat a rival five times, top score for any result five times, uh, uh, 1.5 million damage, and 15 each ground and space battles. Uh, for those, 50,000 DP once again. A uh, Knight Jaeger uh, logo for the uh, 1.5 million damage. A new camo pattern for uh, uh, for top result any five times. 
Uh, some engineering tickets for four stars for uh, winning in rivals. And yeah, finally the Full Armor Slave Wraith, which is a... Uh, is a... Uh, 400 point support with pretty good ballistic and beam resistances and good range strength. So should be interesting to see. Good luck to all. I, I'm pretty sure Salty's going to be up all night uh, grinding for that. But yeah, good luck. But that is going to do it for the Gundam Battle Operation 2 update for this week. Good luck to all on any rolls they roll. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! <laughs>